Hi, I'm Betsy and I'm nuts about food. Come join me outside today as I grill up some great dishes for your 4th of July. So fire up your grill, get those taste buds rolling and we'll rock that grill this 4th of July. So what we're creating here is a two ingredient marinade for an inspired Asian chicken skewer dish. So I like to always use a low sodium teriyaki. It's a half a cup of a teriyaki sauce with two tablespoons. I like to use a seed butter. You may use a peanut butter if you really want that Asian and styled flavor. So we have Betsy's Best, which has chia seeds and cinnamon, which also adds a unique twist to this marinade. All you do is in a Ziploc bag is you mesh the two together until you have your marinade. So you can marinate anything. It doesn't have to be chicken. We just like to throw them on skewers. So once you have your marinade mix, you're just going to add your chicken. And this is the fun part. You just get to massage it. And then you're going to store it in the refrigerator for anywhere for 20 minutes to up to overnight if you'd like. And then it'll be ready for the grill. This marinated steak recipe is one that will knock your socks off. There's some secret ingredients in here that will keep people guessing on what is in your marinade. So what we're going to do is utilize two tablespoons of a soy sauce. I prefer low sodium. We're then going to add one tablespoon of the secret ingredient, which is a cashew cardamom butter. This cardamom flavor gives such a unique spice to this dish and this marinade. We are then going to sweeten it up slightly with a little bit of honey. We're going to add two teaspoons of honey. And then we top it off with a little kick as we add a hint of cayenne pepper. We add our steak and we massage and marinate all these ingredients together around the steak. And again, you're going to let it set in your refrigerator for anywhere from two hours to up to overnight before you throw it on the grill. So what we're creating next is a grilled peach. So after you're done grilling your hot food, we get our dessert ready. So what you're going to do is cut your peaches in half. Just add a little bit of coconut oil to the top of it. And then these are going to go on the grill. Meanwhile, while these are grilling, we're actually going to make a almond butter inspired drizzle that will go over the top of these with ice cream. So you're going to take about two tablespoons of a coconut oil and you're going to add two tablespoons of your favorite type of nut or seed butter. I like to use an almond butter for this because it has naturally a nice sweet taste. So you're just going to combine these and stir them up until you have a nice smooth consistency which will later be drizzled over the top of the peaches. This dessert will keep everyone coming back for more and there's no guilt here because it's healthy using grilled peaches, almond butter, and a little bit of coconut oil. And of course, to make it gourmet, we top it with a little bit of French vanilla ice cream. So you can add your ice cream to the top of each peach and then add the wonderful drizzle of the almond butter and coconut oil that we had created earlier and you just drizzle it right over the top. And then I always like to add and top it off with a pinch of cinnamon. Bon appetit! Well, I hope I've inspired you to try some unique recipes for your 4th of July barbecue to make it the best. Thanks for joining me. I'm nuts about food. We'll see you next week at the Naples Herald. Mm -hmm.